What's up, peeps? Hello, I am back. You probably don't know that I've been missing, but basically, I always say basically. Anyway, my camera has been in for repair for the past two weeks, so Misha's been feeling very lost, very lonely, and doesn't quite know what to do with herself because she just wanted to film. So as soon as I got the camera back, I was like, I'm just gonna have to sort of vlog slash chat with you guys. Um, but for you guys, it's been no different because I pre-filmed videos anyway, because I am organized. So yes, I now need to put some makeup on because I'm literally about to film with mum, because you know, we all love Mama Grimes getting in the filming scene, yeah? Didn't say, hi, I'm Misha, welcome to my life. If you've never seen my face before, you should subscribe. You know, just saying. Anyway, yeah, so I've just come back from an eyelash appointment. I just had infills. Mine are 35 pounds and um, I mean, they're pretty bomb. I won't lie. I don't know if the lady has like a website or an Instagram. I might try and find it and then I'll try and link it, but she's kind of like a do it, your, not do it yourself, but you know what I mean. That I don't think that she would have like a social media following. Yes. So I, Mama Grimes, forgive me for the way I look, goes into the bank today <laughs> and this is going. the boy on the counter gives me one look and says, where's your daughter? Oh, is this the little sweet guy? The little who, sweet guy. He then once said that he didn't know us well enough to clarify that we could be the person that we know. He with. remembered my name. He said, last time you came here, you came with your daughter. I said, yes. But she's we, not with me today. We go everywhere anyway, together. <laughs> then I go to another guy to sort something else out and he's new. He's just joined the branch and he turns around and says to me, I saw you in the street the other day. You were walking with your dog and your beautiful daughter. Wow, Zeez, she's pulled two at that West. Mm. I always wanted me a banker. <laughs> yeah, tattoos all over. I was so shocked. Oh, I'm surprised. Literally, I love that on his hands everywhere. Good on him. Anyway, Misha, the score is two. No. What? Just in a very chatty mood, as we will see by this video, I'm just priming my skin with the Mario Badescu prep spray -ness. Also, my nails, I feel like they always get quite a few questions. I think every month when they change, I might just add like the dis in the description box what nail colour I have. But I got my nail lady to tell me what it was. It's like a really nice grey from Shellac. Bye! Okay, I can't remember where I wrote down the nail colour, but I will leave it in the description box. And if I forget, just nag me and then I'll try. Also, this jumper. Forever 21, it's really cute, I got it for £10, no, $10 in America. Misha, shut up, stop being so chatty, get a wiggle on. Oh, also, <laughs> just because I can't stop talking. Rather sodden Jack Wills bag, but I basically live in my grey Jack Wills leggings, so I allowed myself to buy another pair, and these ones are the dark grey. I wanted to get the black ones as well, but they didn't have them in my size, so yes. These are the best leggings of life. If you don't own them, you need to go out and buy them. I live in them, I love them. They're like £24, which, I mean... I can't decide if that's a lot for leggings. Oh, did I explain what was wrong with my camera? I didn't. I will do that as I procrastinate with my face. So, what was wrong with my camera was, basically, so I've got the Olympus Pen EL7. Is that what you call it? I don't really know. Everyone always asks me, and I feel like I say it wrong every single time. But yeah, and this is the camera that has the selfie feature, but the selfie feature pulls down rather than pulls up, which isn't the most practical, actually, for vlogging. I am putting way too much primer on my face, especially considering this is the hourglass one and it's probably got about five pounds on my face right now, but we'll go with it. Um, and yeah, so um, basically the selfie feature broke, so when I pulled down, you like flip down the screen, when I flipped down the screen, the screen went blank, but the camera still worked, so like I couldn't really vlog, so for about two months I was vlogging. Can I have my 20 pounds please? Oh sorry. Oh, it's in the pocket of my coat, and it's oh, in the middle of the card holder. Oh, all this way from that. In the middle section of the Misha. card holder. Okay, so Misha likes to leave towels on the floor I was inside in a rush. the bathroom. Go and pick it up I now. I was in a go. rush. I was late to my eyelash appointment. I had to get Dad to drive me because I thought it was 20 minutes later than it was, and it takes 20 minutes to walk there. Whoops. Anyway, so yeah, the selfie feature wasn't working, so I was literally vlogging for like two months. Like in all my Ibiza vlogs, in all of my vlogs, I was just holding the camera. I couldn't see myself. Some people kept on commenting like, Misha, stop holding the camera so close to your face. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I can't help it because I can't see. Um, but now it's fixed. And they also replaced like a few little bits on it and just gave it a clean. I'm now gonna take this. My mum got these from Amazon. They're really good, they're like little shavers and just, 
get rid of my little beard. Because, you know, it's less painful than waxing. They're also really good for like doing your eyebrows. So I'm going to try and come real close. And you just kind of like... You can just be very precise. See? Hacks. I'll also leave, link these down below actually because they are a lifesaver. But yeah, Anya was for some reason... My sister this is. Um, she was squeezing her blackheads, as you do. And for some reason she was using this to do it. And she literally cut a chunk out of her nose. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. But she's just an idiot, so that's why. Okay, let's continue. I'm a bit red now, but we'll go with it. Um, you can tell that I haven't been in front of the camera in so long because I'm just so damn excited. I'm not going to do heavy makeup today because, well, that requires effort, of which I have zero. But... I'm getting really pale, so I don't even know what foundation shade I am. Let's go to a makeup prep stick. Well, definitely not that shade. Makeup prep stick. Mm. Running ghastly low. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I'd say that's about the right colour. Now, also, you guys will have seen that I did a Christmas unboxing video with the Blogger Programme. And in it, there was brushes. Now, I've used some of the brushes and I'm loving them, but I haven't used any of the face brushes. So I've got some of them here. And let's give them a whirl. This is a good foundation brush. What's weird? I have actually lost my foundation brush from Morphe and I don't know where it is. And I've checked in Anya's room and I've checked in Mum's room. Maybe I need to check in Dad's room. <laughs> or Alfie's. My dog, that is. Um, but we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. Blendy, 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 blend. Blendy, wendy. <laughs> Today when I'm filming this it's also actually Chloe, Chloe my best friend, as you may have seen in my YouTube videos. Um, it's also Chloe's birthday, so um, happy 18th birthday Chloe. I'm also going to Scotland. Uh, when? Tomorrow? No, yeah, tomorrow. I'm going to Scotland tomorrow to celebrate her birthday. So I'm so excited and me and mum are also going to Edinburgh, so of course... There shall be Edinburgh and Scotland vlogs. So yes, you better get excited because I am. I, I've never been to Scotland before so I'm so excited to see what it's like. I'm really gutted though because um, the Edinburgh Christmas markets aren't um, open until like two weeks after. So yeah, but I can still get in the Christmassy spirit. I'm so excited for Christmas. I am that person that's like for Christmas ready. I've already got all of my presents, basically. But also, Mum's birthday is the 1st of December. So like, when I do Mum's birthday presents, I buy birthday and Christmas at the same time, and then I just kind of like split it. Um, not that she's happy with that. She's literally like, I don't want anything for my birthday. Because we're actually in Poland on her actual birthday. So she's like, I don't want anything. Do not buy me anything, blah, 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 blah. Of course I'm gonna ignore her, so is Mum. But um, you treat me all year. Why would I not do the same to you? I can't quite decide what to make this video because I just wanted to speak to the camera and just give like little updates. So I suppose it could just be like makeup, up, no, chatty makeup updates with Misha. I'll be check how many YouTube subscribers I'm on. Mum hasn't given me the daily update. Mum's like literally obsessed with updating me every like five seconds about how many followers I am. So cute. She's a very proud mummy. So, that's how. We'll see to reply to comments. Yeah, feel free to comment. Feel free to Instagram message me. Feel free to anything me. Not quite literally. Because I am there. I do respond. It's fun chatting away to you guys. The thing is, with YouTube subscribers, is I genuinely don't have a clue whether I'm doing good, whether I'm doing bad. Not that it's about the subscribers, but obviously it's good to know that your channel's growing and there's more people seeing it and there's more people enjoying it. Because I do make these videos for me really, like I never think about people watching them, um, I just make them because I enjoy making them, but then now, more recently, I've really got into having feedback from you guys and like seeing you guys liking the videos and like commenting and actually enjoying what I'm doing. So like I will, the, the day that I know that a video is going live, I will literally be counting down until it's time for me to upload so that I can see your guys' response and start replying to comments. Like, I am, 
I've got to that stage now. So that's why to me it's important that my channel's growing because then it means that there's more to chat with. Yeah. You should have seen me when I was uploading Sunday's video. I was literally sat there like, is it 6.30 yet? Is it 6.30 yet? I want to upload because I knew, I knew that I loved the video so I hoped you guys would too. Um, this casual chat is getting rather deep. Uh, I've just concealed, by the way, with my go-to concealer. So I'm on 29,619. Now, I started in January. Yeah, January, late January. We are in October. No, November. We are, we're in November. So that means that I've been going for, I won't count January because I don't think I uploaded very many videos. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Ten months! Wow! And I'm nearly at 30,000 subscribers. So I don't know if that's, is that good? Let me know. I have no clue. Misha's clueless. I feel like YouTube is very much an unknown sector. Like, you just, you don't really know how it works, but we go along with it. And we love it. Also, let me know what videos you want to see. Like, obviously, I'm making videos at the moment that I enjoy. And, I mean, I know everyone loves hauls. People are pretty sick of seeing hauls on my channels. Channels? Channel. But hauls are the most popular. Everyone loves a good haul. Um, FYI, I don't keep all the stuff I haul. I am not made of money. I wish I could. But, you know, YouTube does not pay that well. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Um, but no, like, I feel like when people see a lot of hauls on my channel, they're probably thinking, oh my gosh, she's loaded, she's got loads of money, she can afford to buy all these clothes. I don't. They, they literally all go back, like, I swear. I probably keep maybe, like, one item per haul, not even that, some of the time. Um, so I hope Pretty Little Thing, Miss Guide and Nasos all that lot don't mind me doing that. But, theoretically, I'm actually helping them out because I'm just advertising their business for people to buy. At least that's what I'll say to them if they start trying to have a go at me. Lol. Oh my gosh though, have you seen about how ASOS now have this new thing? I haven't seen it myself but I've heard about it. That you can like try before you buy. I need that in my life, like genuinely. That would make my YouTube life so much easier. Because then when I do hauls for you guys and show you what's in the stores, I'm not poor for them the next two weeks before they refund me the money. Um, that'd be fabulous. So, great idea, ASOS. But I do also feel like it kind of encourages everyone to return stuff, which I don't know if it's very good for ASOS's business, because, I mean, to be fair, I probably do order more because I know that I can return stuff, and then I feel like I return more because I know that I can return stuff, if that makes any bit of sense. Oh, I'm really not having a good makeup day. I don't know what's going on. I'm just feeling very patchy. We'll go with it. Oh, that was the hourglass bronze, by the way. Now we're taking the top blush. I can tell this video is going to be 10 years long. I'm very sorry. But I'm also going to be vlogging tomorrow because that's when we leave for Edinburgh. So I just thought, you know, Misha, get some practice in. Tell everyone what you want to say so that you don't bore everyone in tomorrow's vlog because that's about Scotland, not about life. It's also really rainy today, so I feel like when I'm filming, the light may not be amazing. But we'll go with it, because I have no other choice, because I leave tomorrow, so. Now I'm going to take the glow kit and highlight them cheekbones. For, like, highlight, I really go through, like, a stage with it. Like, I went for a stage where I was really into, like, blinding white highlight. Now I'm into, like, a... Still, like, it's probably very high. Like, I like a good highlight down my nose. That's where I'm into big highlight. But on my face, I feel like I've gone for a little bit more of a natural look. You may not agree, but that's just how I see it. This I love. Okay, so this is from Blank Canvas. This was in the dinghy. And it's literally like a stand up brush holder. And it makes my life so much easier. Okay, I've accidentally gone for a really blinding highlight today, but. Because the lighting is so dreadful, I can't really tell. So we'll go with that. Um, let's do Misha's Easy Eyebrow Hack with the NYX Brow Gel. Let's do one with and one without and see what difference it makes. This stuff is gold. The Benefit Gimme Brow is also amazing. My sister has a mini of it and I always steal it. But we can't be affording the Benefit one right now, so... Christmas is around the corner and I've already I've already organised all of it. So Misha's broke. Can we see the difference? I think that's quite a big difference. 
just makes them a lot more like big and bushy. But I do like the big bushy brow look to be fair, but I don't like the monobrow brow look. <laughs> no, I don't actually have a brow right now. I've managed to resist. So eye wise, I saw this in my box the other day and I was gonna get rid of it and then I was like, Misha, you might as well use it. Um, so it's the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette. And they're actually really good eyeshadows. I just never really use them. So we're gonna use them. I'm gonna take this pinky eyelid colour. Now I have no clue what these are what numbers or I don't think they have a colour or anything like that. They're just in the palette and I'm just gonna pop that all over my eye. Oh, it's very pretty. They're really buttery. I do think wet and wild eyeshadows are supposed to be very good. Obviously you can't get them in the UK, Soz UK people. Actually, I think you can get them on like Amazon. Like I feel like I've seen people selling them on Amazon. Um, but you obviously can't go into Superdrug and buy them. That's a really nice colour actually. Kudos. Only thing with this palette is like, they're all glittery. So, I don't know if you could do a complete look with it. I'm gonna now just use the brow bone highlight one. Hello, okay, that's rather extreme. I can't decide if I like highlighting my inner corner. Kind of think it makes me look like I've got sleep in my eye. Kind of think it makes me look awake. Like, what do you think? Like, when makeup artists do it, I think it looks really nice. And when I do it, I'm a bit like, mm, don't know how I feel about that. I might try this crease colour. I feel like it might look disgusting, but we'll go with it. I'm also really running low on um, eyeshadow brushes because I'm a nice child and I gave them to my mum. Oh, actually, I'm quite digging that. Oh, blooming hell, it's pigmented. Okay, let's get rid of some of that. Okay, I need to get a smaller brush and I need to put some of this in the outer corner because currently my crease is darker than my outer corner, which isn't the look I go for. Oh, makeup wise, really want to try that new Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette that kind of isn't new anymore, but it looks so nice. I've got the Dolce Vita, or is it? Yeah, I've got the Dolce Vita palette, which I love. Like, I literally love this eyeshadow palette. I don't use it that much, but I really like it. Like, it just makes your eyes look so sexy, which is something I never thought I'd say about eyeshadow, but genuinely it does. Um, if you used it, you'd understand. Um, no, I'm not going crazy. Also, side note, I've joined the world of Facebook. You know you've been filming for over 20 minutes when your camera cuts out. Lol. Sorry, guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying Misha chats. Misha's enjoying chatting, to be fair. I'm actually kind of digging that eyeshadow. I think it looks quite nice. Go wet and wild. Yeah, speaking of like videos that you guys want to see, let me know what Christmas style videos you want to see. Because I have many an idea, but I do that so that then I can take my bra my pencil. I think this is actually a brow pencil that I use to draw in my moles because otherwise, like it just doesn't look real. But if I wet my face and draw them in, it works a lot better. This one I always accidentally make huge. Um, bottom lash mascara and then lips. But I'm not going to bother doing my lips now because um, I need to eat, so that'd be silly. But bottom lash mascara is always the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara. I love this mascara. I did used to use like the Makeup Forever one. Um, and the Benefit Better Than Sex. But... They kind of all dried out on me and they're very expensive considering I like this as much if not more so I stuck with what I knew. Apparently I have long bottom lashes I didn't realize this so my eyelash lady said today but I was like oh thank you it's like if someone compliments your eyelashes your eyebrows you're like can we be best friends like yes it's the biggest compliment you can give someone actually if you were a guy and you were trying to hit on a girl, I wouldn't necessarily go up to them and be like, OMG, you have the best eyebrows. I don't know how that would go down. I mean, I'd probably be like, thank you, but I wouldn't be like, thank you, can I date you? Done. Got a little speck of black. Okay. <clears throat> now let's take a selfie. 
because you I mean if you put makeup because I never put makeup on if I put makeup on it's obligatory to take a selfie like it has to be done now we're gonna see Misha's selfie struggles am I the only one that really struggles to take a selfie because all my Instagram photos my mum takes um, with my camera I'm not used to taking selfies so I'm really bad at them What do I do? Pretend to help. Someone teach me how to do a selfie. Ooh. I just, that's my selfie. I just swiped to that effect. What? That's quite cool actually. That's so grungy. Whilst I haven't had my camera, um, I've literally been um, doing so many Instagram stories. So you're probably sick of seeing me because I mean, I just, I miss not having a camera. So I made up for it by taking loads of Instagram stories and pretending that I was vlogging. Not pretending to myself. Okay, let's go make some food. Two doors, guys. A little look at my little food I've made, which I'm already in like half of, because I'm a hungry gal. We just got some chicken, olives and avocado. So I kind of forgot to end this little chatty makeup, get ready with me, life update situation. So here's an ending, <laughs> um, looking a little bit less glamorous to when you last saw me. I've been moisturised and de makeup -ified. but yeah, I don't really know what this video was, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and yeah, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys all next time, and I hope you enjoyed this little added bonus little extra thingy-bobby. Bye!